If you've never played drums before or you're just getting started, you've come to the right place. Today we're gonna to be covering the first five grooves that you can learn on the drums that are super easy. These work well in just about any rock or pop song. And as we go through this, the grooves will be posted on the screen as well as a PDF that you can download in the description below. One of the reasons drummers typically start off by learning rock grooves is because the coordination of these grooves is pretty easy to grasp in the beginning. You'll notice as we're playing through these different grooves, the right hand is always going to be playing eighth notes on the hi-hat, one and two and three and four and. If you're a left-handed drummer, that'll be your left hand on the hi-hat. Most drummers, even if they're left-handed, tend to play right hand lead because this allows the right side of your body to stay synced up while we're playing these grooves and you might find it to be a little bit easier to play that way. But if it's comfortable for you to use your left hand on the hi-hat, go for it. And our left hand playing the snare drum is going to be playing on beats two and four the entire time. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. If we put just the hi-hat and the snare drum together, it's going to sound like this. One and two and three and four and. Now you'll notice while I'm doing this, I'm trying to have my hi-hat and my snare drum be the same volume. Typically what tends to happen is the left hand, because it's underneath, plays a lot quieter and is not able to get as big of a stroke. Make sure we're still getting a nice solid backbeat with that left hand. So groove number one, our bass drum is just going to be playing on beats one and three. Our hands are going to be doing the pattern that we just learned there. Now, as you're learning any new drum groove, in the beginning, it's totally okay to take just two limbs at a time and really work on lining those up. So as we're going through these grooves, if you're finding it difficult, especially to add your bass drum in with any of these grooves, take just two limbs at a time. For example, if I take just the hi-hat and the bass drum for groove number one, it's going to sound like this. Let's add all three limbs in and play through groove number one nice and slow. In drumming, we have grooves and we also have fills, which are little transitional things that we can play to help progress to the next section of a song. The fill that we're going to play today, if you're playing on a four piece kit like me, um, we're going to go 16th notes the entire time, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, and just alternate our hands, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. One full beat on the snare, followed by one full beat on the first tom here back to one full beat on the snare, ending with one full beat on the floor tom there. So just the fill is going to sound like this. One, two, ready, and go, and go. And every time we end the fill, we're always going to play a crash on beat one, uh, play the crash cymbal with your right hand, and the bass drum will always land with it. So the full fill is going to sound like this. The format we're going to use for all of these grooves is three measures of the groove followed by one measure of the fill. That will give us a complete cycle of four measures and we will continue to loop this. So here's groove number one with the fill.
All right, groove number two is very similar to number one. This one is typically called four on the floor because all four downbeats are gonna be played with your bass drum. Hands are still doing the same thing, but now we're playing one, two, three, four with the bass drum. Let's try out groove number two. Again, since we're playing these as rock or pop grooves, we want to think about all three of our limbs kind of being equal in volume. So our bass drum, snare drum, and hi-hat all equal in volume, getting a good sound. Groove number three, we're getting a little funky now. Bass drum's gonna play on beat one and the and of three. So again, if we're just taking the hi-hat and the bass drum together, that would sound like this. At any point in time, if it's too challenging to play all three limbs at once, just break it down two limbs at a time and go nice and slow. Here's groove number three. All of these grooves can be played on the ride cymbal instead of the hi-hat as well. So for groove number four, we're gonna move our right hand over to the ride cymbal. The coordination is still gonna feel the same, we just happen to be hitting a different surface with our right hand. Our bass drum is now gonna be playing on beat one, the and of two, and beat three. Here's groove number four. Groove number five is similar to groove number four, but we have just scooted those two bass drum hits over one eighth note. So now our bass drum is gonna be playing on beat one, and then beat three, and the and of three. Here's groove number five, again on the ride cymbal. So when you're just starting out, it's really important to practice slowly and making sure that everything is lining up where it needs to be. Then you can slowly start to increase the speed and even start playing different fills. So what I'm gonna do now is play all five of these grooves. I'll play each of these grooves two full times through the cycle that we've done there. And when I get to the fill, I'm still gonna be playing 16th notes, but I'm going to allow my hands to move around to different surfaces, not always play the fill the same way. Here's what that would sound like if I play through all five grooves at a faster tempo and allow myself to be a little bit more creative with the fill.
So get those drumsticks and start practicing. Again, take it nice and slow and start being creative with how you move your fill around. If you appreciate the content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you everyone so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.